get the maximum amount of hours for my caregiver? Now listen, this is a very, very, very good question. You're in Medicaid, you're in long-term health care program, they just told you you qualify for a paid aid, and now you want to know how can you maximize the hours and get your caregiver all the hours that you can get. Listen, stick around to the end. I guarantee I'll have all the answers to your questions right here, all right? Now look, my name is Kion Church. I'm the big-hearted caregiver. What do we do? We help financially challenge family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. You know, and that's just because everybody needs to be able to make a living. You know, your income shouldn't have to sacrifice when you're trying to look out for your loved ones. You know what I mean? Now, listen, it ain't no secret we do what we do. You know, we, we take care of people because they probably took care of us. I'm sure nobody here is taking care of, is volunteering to take care of no people that didn't take care of us. You know what I mean? Now, we love our parents. The best we can do is get the maximum amount of hours to help them out. If you are the member, the Medicaid member, you need as much time as you can. Ain't no, ain't, no, ain't no other way around it. You need as much time as you can. So you're like, KC, how do I get this case manager to give me all the hours that I deserve? Listen, real easy. Now, if you with, if you with the wrong company, it may be hard. You know what I mean? So hopefully I'm talking to the person that's with the good company, you know, like reliable aid, or you haven't made a decision yet on the company that you want to choose. Now, what I tell people is, you know, we back it all the way up to the interview. Uh, the third step in getting into LTSS program is what's called the interview. Now, in the interview, they're going to ask you. They're going to ask you, the Medicaid member, you know, what do you feel like you need help with? Now, <laughs> if you like my mom, you know, my mom passed away. But if you like my mom, you probably say something like, oh, I don't need help with anything. I'm good. I just, you know, really need somebody to help me out with some light stuff. And then, you know, that's probably a lie. You know, tell them the truth. Tell them everything. If you want the benefits, you got to open up and say everything. You got to say everything that's wrong. Listen, you know, my pop would say something like, he need help getting up every day. You know, he needs help putting his shoes and socks on. You know, he need help getting to the bathroom. You know, he needs help, uh, 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 you know, getting his toothbrush and his, and his, and his, uh, his washcloth out. You know, wash his face in the morning, you know, to get dressed. You got to let them know everything. See, if you go in there and you're like, oh, I really don't need nothing and I'm happy to be in a program and nice to meet you and okay, I'll talk to you later. They're not going to give you nothing. Straight up. Straight up, you know. So you got to be, I'm not even going to say creative. You got to tell the truth. You got to tell them everything, you know. So look, if you're here with me now and you understand what I'm saying, if you're picking up on what I'm putting down, I'm going to need you to hashtag, uh, 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 what I tell people, hashtag, live or hashtag rebroadcast now if you're here with me in the rebroadcast on youtube that's super awesome you know what i mean i love y'all because y'all always comment on me you know what i mean y'all y'all hit me from a lot of states y'all checking the big hearted caregiver out that's awesome you know uh if you're here with me now you know don't be afraid to put your people's information right into the comments you might got a cousin that's watching this or a cousin that's on facebook and uh, he's in the same situation. Him or her may be in the same situation. Put their name directly in the comment. You know, I'll reach out to them or they can reach out to me. But look, don't let your case manager hold back on all your hours. We don't do it like that. And actually, we have come across the cases where, you know, we got the bum case managers on. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell it to you like this because y'all want to call them bums. You know what I mean? And sometimes they really are. It's some very, very super awesome case managers out here that really care about people. But it's something that, like, you know, they don't give a flying you know what. So if you're dealing with one of them, you know, we got what's called an activity sheet. Now, every day what I tell the people, like, look, Miss Jones, you're not getting enough hours. You know what I mean? You, you, you should be getting way more hours than this because we've seen this kind of situation before. Now, what I do is I give them a sheet every day to go in and they fill out the daily activities, you know. uh because by the time you get into the house, the care plan is already made up. You know what I mean? So you got to do what you got to do. So <clears throat> as you follow in the care plan, something may have happened and you say, hey, you know, uh, had a little struggle today getting uh, Miss Jones this. Or we, we had a little, you know, thing today doing that. And once the paper gets filled up and we got 30 of them filled up for the month, when the case manager comes back around and do a reassessment, they're going to know, like, look, this person needs way more hours than, than we thought they originally needed. You know what I mean? And if you got a good company like Reliable Aid Inc., 
I don't even mind speaking up for you. Y'all know, everybody on here with me knows I love to call the case managers and, and, and shake them up. Hey, look here. You know what I mean? Church needs such and such. He needs this and that. Uh, I, I check people's eligibility. You know, I, I do all kind of stuff for the people. You know, I, I love people. So I'm here to help. If you need any help, make sure you call me. 302-689-3240. Once again, my name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home care specialist. 302-689-3240. Reliable aid ain't. Look, we love you. You know what I mean? Don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of your loved ones is wrong. You know, we doing this to get our blessings. You know what I'm saying? When I come through the pearly gates, they're going to give me a high five and say, come on through, man. You know what I mean? Them other people that's only thinking about they self, I don't know how they're going to make out. They not like me and you, though, so we ain't got to worry about that. You feel me? So listen, if you're having a hard time, if you're trying to get into the program, or if you're in the program and you can't get the arrows that you need, call me. 302-689-3240. I'm going to have my uh, my assistant, Miss Ludia, uh, Put the link in the comments and then, uh, you know, chime on in. Do whatever you got to do. Holler at you soon. I love you. Take it easy.